Prophecy number one for Nigeria. Premier prophecy for Nigeria. For the month of June. Pour le mois de juin. 2024. 2024. I saw on the mountain. J'ai vu sur la montagne. I saw on the mountain. I saw on the mountain. J'ai vu sur la montagne. I saw a group called Pantech. J'ai vu un Pantec group appelé Pant le groupe Pantech. Pantech group. Le groupe Pantech. Pantech group. Le groupe Pantech. Uh, the Lord said they should watch out. Le Seigneur dit qu'il veille. And the Lord said they should watch out against fire disaster. Le Seigneur dit qu'il veille contre le désastre. I saw a group called Pantech. J'ai vu un groupe appelé le groupe Pantech. They planted Pantec. an explosive in their vicinity. On a semé their une institution. À une place à les institutions. That led into disaster. Qui a causé une. Let the management une... of that group. Que le manager de ce groupe. Pray hard. Pray and keep security measures. Et garder les mesures de sécurité. Number two for Nigeria. Deuxième pour Nigeria. It concerns Anambra State Government. Ça concerne cet État Anambra. The Anambra State Government. Anambra State Government. Should mobilize. Mobilize. And the Lord said, the Governor. Et le Seigneur dit le Gouverneur. I saw someone like Governor Soludo. J'ai vu quelqu'un comme le Gouverneur Soludo. I should make way. Qui il ferait le chemin. But there's a big victory in the breaking of 2025. Parce qu'il y a une grande victoire pour le 2025. There's a big victory. Il y a une grande victoire. But the Lord said, let the governor. Le Seigneur dit que ce gouverneur. Of an Amla state. De cette étape à. Let him watch out against blackmail. Qui veille contre. Because few days to re-election. Parce que quelques jours pour l'élection. I saw a blackmail. J'ai vu une by his opponents à travers ses opinions by his opponents à travers ses by his opponents à travers ses opposants alléluia amen prophétie number 4 for nigeria quatrième prophétie pour le nigeria i saw a, 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 a youth game j'ai vu un un jeu something like finasco quelque chose comme finasco they should watch out. Qui veille? These were youths that gathered in the state. C'était les jeunes qui se rassemblaient à l'état. For youth game. Pour les jeux des des jeux. The Lord said they should watch out. Le Seigneur dit qu'il veille. And they should watch out. They should secure the venue of, of the activity. Et qui sécurise les activités. La the place night activités, before the commencement. La nuit avant que ça ne commence. I see a situation where youth gather from different states. J'ai vu une situation où les jeunes se rassemblent dans différents états. And there is an explosion also. Il y a aussi une explosion. And lives are wasted. Et les vies sont gaspillées. They should watch out. Il faut qu'ils veillent. Hallelujah. Amen. Prophecy number five for Nigeria. Quatre, cinquième prophétie pour le Nigeria. This is a message to the government. C'est un message pour le gouvernement. I've written a letter to them before. J'ai écrit une lettre pour eux avant. And I'm sending this message to them now. J'envoie encore ce message. The Lord said, let the government call, call the old, the old top officials. Le Seigneur demande que le gouvernement appelle les anciens officiers. Who were unduly laid off their duties. Qui étaient retirés de leurs travaux. Let the government make peace with them. Que le Seigneur fait la paix avec eux. Let the government compensate them. Que le Seigneur, que le gouvernement les récompense. And the Naira value problem shall be solved. Et ces problèmes de Naira seront résolus. The Lord says. Le Seigneur dit. The Naira problem is an internal problem. Ces problèmes de Naira est un problème interne. It's an internal problem. C'est un problème interne. And the Lord said, if it is not addressed. Et le Seigneur dit si cela n'est pas adressé. Now. Maintenant. Naira may only breathe in 2026. Le Naira peut seulement respirer en 2026. So if you are hearing this prophecy, you are watching you are watching this prophecy. Tu visant ces prophéties. Please do well to push this. Let it reach the authorities that be in Nigeria. Va suite à des poussées afin que ça atteigne ces autres pays. Prophecy number seven for Nigeria. Septième prophecy pour le Nigeria. I saw some old workers. J'ai vu certains anciens travailleurs. These are 
ex government officials ce sont les officiels de work with the, with the government of Mohamed Buhari president Mohamed Buhari of Nigeria qui travaillent avec le gouvernement du président Mohamed Buhari I saw them called back je les ai vus appeler they appeler. were judged ils ont été jugés they were sentenced to life imprisonment et on les a envoyés en prison pour because vivre. of embezzlement à cause de embezzlement some of them think that they are, they, they have succeeded to run with government money Peut-être ils pensent qu'ils ont reçu à faire la vie. Mais j'ai vu comment ils étaient arrêtés et les envoyés en prison. Je sais que certains vont entendre ce que je prophétie. Ils commencent à porter les bagages pour aller à Londres. Ils vont chercher les bagages pour aller à Londres. Ils vont chercher les bagages pour aller à Londres. Ils vont chercher les bagages pour aller à Londres. Ils vont chercher les bagages pour aller à Londres. Ils vont chercher les bagages pour aller à Londres. Ils vont chercher les bagages pour aller à I saw somebody very prominent. J'ai vu quelqu'un tellement in the Nigerian government structure. À cette structure du Nigeria. I saw this person get paralyzed. J'ai vu comment cette personne est paralysée. Yadish. Écoute ceci. Write this prophecy down, Nigerians. Écris cette prophétie, Nigeria. If care is not taken. Si y a pas de de mifi. Soon. Bientôt. Nigeria. Hear what the Lord said. Comprends ce que le Seigneur dit. He said, "Care is not taken." Si il se méfie pas. Soon. Bientôt. Speeches will be read on wheelchair. Les paroles seront sur les chaises roulantes. I'm talking prophetic parable. Je parle en ces paraboles prophétiques. Hmm. C'est là. C'est là. C'est là means ponder. C'est là veut dire ponder. Prophetic terminologies. Soon, bientôt, somebody prominent, quelqu'un prominent, in the Nigerian government structure, à cette structure de Nigeria, will be reading speech on wheelchair. Vont lire les paroles dans les chaises roulantes. Matter prophecy. Il faut prendre part de ces prophéties. Prophecy number, church number one, nine. Neuvième prophétie. For Nigeria. Pour le Nigeria. The Lord said the church. The church in Nigeria has slowed down in praying for the nation. Le Seigneur dit les églises au Nigeria. Reason being, they are thinking that their prayers are not working. A raison pour laquelle ils disent que les prières ne marchent pas. The Lord said, let them bounce back. Le Seigneur demande qu'ils renforcent. In interceding for the nation of Nigeria. Pour intercéder pour la nation de Nigeria. And the Lord said, He is up to a plan. Et le Seigneur dit, Il a un plan. He is up to a plan. Il a un plan. So guys, I believe you heard what Prophet P. Collins has to say concerning the nation of nigeria and what god has revealed to him there are some few things he says in this video that i just want to chit chat with you guys about concerning his prophecies and all that there are a few things he talked first of all he talks that there will be a youth gathering and they should be careful that there will be explosion and all that 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 is what the lord has shown him and i begin to wonder that what is going to be this gathering are you planning anything in nigeria that we don't know about but a despite that whether occasional music festivals and all those things please please if you find yourself in those means be very very careful concerning explosion and all that and all kinds of things then secondly it talks about the government and all that as you all know see the situation of nigeria now a lot of nigerian citizens want one kind holy ghost fire that will come and burn a lot of politicians in their gatherings and all that like for all of them to just kick the bucket at once that is what a lot of people are praying for because of the predicament they have put nigeria through or what nigeria is going through as a nation right now but that is not what we are actually going to do then secondly it talks about that christians in nigeria churches in nigeria God said that he should tell them that they have stopped praying, that they don't longer pray again, they don't longer, the presence of God is no longer there because they feel like their prayers are not being answered by God. They are just praying in vain. So the best thing they just did they stop praying for nigeria or interceding for nigeria because the more they pray the more things are getting worse there. so the best thing to do is just to just forget about praying and just watch out what is going to happen so god has told him to tell us christians in nigeria that we shouldn't give up in praying we shouldn't stop praying and all that so please please if you're a christian you are in nigeria 
don't get tired of praying. That is the message God is trying to pass to us to be strong, to wake up. They say iron sharpens iron. Let's pray. Let's not give up and say that, oh, we are tired because a lot of prophecies dropped last year and it didn't go our way or we prayed for that there will be change in Nigeria or so, 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 and so, so person is going to emerge as the president of Nigeria since it didn't happen and a lot of prophecies dropped last year when i say last year prophecies were coming back to back and all that and then this year nothing uh, i mean from that last year there was no change the worst people will say that the worst has happened to us when INEC announced the the winner of the 2023 presidential election then on may 29th see it was that one that actually blew my head if you follow this channel I dropped a lot of videos that last year, like consigning May 29. All manner of prophecies, all kinds and shape of prophecies were dropping back to back that last year, consigning the nation of Nigeria and consigning our government sector, especially the president and May 29 last year when um, Mr. President was to be sworn in into office and all that. Then we're having hope. A lot of people say that he was going to be arrested his criminal deals and all that are going to catch up with him on the day of swearing in when he's there at the ceremony then they'll just come some old politicians are going to rise up against him see this man said it that emiloko it is my turn so there is nothing you can do or say hands down it is tenable stunt to rule the nation of nigeria so let's just grab our popcorn sit back and watch what is going to unfold because a lot of people are actually proposing some kind of bills that is going to be passed down in two days from now so that nigeria will be divided into a regions like about eight regions and all that if you have not watched that video is on my channel probably i'm going to link it in the description box for you to go and watch and see what the Easterners are actually discussing and it's not just the the west the middle bit the north the south south and all parts of nigerians are actually coming together to say that okay since this government is not working for us why don't we do it this way and so that everybody face their own place to develop it and all that and if you notice a lot of prophecies also have been dropping concerning the president kicking the bucket so, and a lot of people say that we should pray so that he doesn't kick the bucket so that number two will not emerge as the president of nigeria because if he does nigeria is a goner and all that but one thing i know for sure is that god is not going to forsake his own what about the less privileged and a lot of people are selling properties land houses to jackpot so and you feel like uh, when you jack back within two or five years you're going to work for it over there and still rebuild the same thing but one thing is that if you feel like the country is not in good condition or shape and you decide to run out then what makes you feel that in the next five seven ten years it's going to be better see all heads are better than like plenty heads are better than one that is what me i just feel and i just see in the situation of nigeria because even we the citizens are also corrupt just like the way the political sectors are also corrupt because we are not also helping each other see to build a nation to grow a nation it's you scratch my back i scratch your back the masses opinions and what they do also affect the growth and decrease of a country of a nation so we do all we want is just selfish gains and profit and all that that is what we want citizens when we hear say this one don't do we don't do one. and he says that the rise um the fall of nera it's due to some certain kind of category of people and god is going to look into that everything is going to be stabilized at the end of the day so this is another thing that we need to look into and also feel like these things this man of god is actually saying is it true or not will it come to pass or not did god actually tell him or not see some things just sit analyze a lot of things yourself when you hear these people speak both men of god prophets and prophetess and then our political setters analyze at one plus one you see that is equals to two minus two minus one is one 
that is one thing you need to know if we are not helping each other to go as a nation it can never be good all we think about is corruption and fraud and all that how will a nation go so that is just the video i decided to share with you guys before i go please if you've not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and don't forget to turn on the post notification thank you very much for watching Oh, I go